need another. It's good, man. I'm gonna introduce them to the team. Remember, the lights off, man. Lights off. Well, my my lights are already. Oh, they're already off. No, they're 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 low. Dude. Oh, he's got ick. Does he? Yeah. He does it? I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, look. Look at his eyebrow. Maybe he might go in my fight tank. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> it looks good. Nah, that's cool. Leave him alone. I'm just trying to get him closer. Yeah, look. We'll see, guys. Awesome. I might throw some live walk in my freight tank. Here. You don't need to. You got all those frag legs and shit, man. It'll work. So what's up guys, I have a 20 gallon long previously set up uh, before I even got this fish. This tank was going to serve the purpose of a frag tank and slash a quarantine tank. Now I know you've seen the videos with the quarantine tanks where all they have is a little pump, you know, and uh, some PVC pipe. But my question was and uh, is, I don't think those quarantine tanks are good because they don't have any uh, biological filtration. Everything does not live in the water column. Like many of you guys, I'm a typical reefer. I don't even have a quarantine tank, but I'm glad that I put them in here because as you can see, you can see the little white spots. Um, the white spots taken in this video are actually going away. What I did do is I raised the temperature up to 80. Um, they say when you raise the temperature up, it kind of speeds up their metabolism. And also with this tank, um, I just try to get this little guy to eat as much as I could. Um, the more they eat, the better chance they have to uh, fight off an infection. Another thing that I want to point out about this tank is I did not keep a quarantine tank, but I'm glad I put him in here because um, I set it up as a frag tank to test out the new uh, uh, LED that I got from uh, Reef Breeders. Now, I'm really glad that I have this tank set up because... Um, it really sucks losing any of your fish. Uh, you've had these little fish for since they were small. And then to run the risk of getting them all infected and, and killed uh, really sucks. But um, I just happened to have this tank up and running. I utilized it. You know, I got to tell you that I was scared because I haven't pit any type of fish in here at all. Um, this was strictly for corals. You know, I started pitting one or two corals in here. You know, the corals started opening up, so I started sticking more corals and moving them over. But the only thing that I have for biological is a hang-on-back filter. Uh, Fluva, I have some uh, uh, filter floss in there. I also have a bag of Matrix, the Matrix I got from uh, my buddy Paul when he was breaking down his nighty. And I don't really have a whole lot of Matrix in there, but it is uh, supporting the tang. And uh, everything is going good so far. I'm going to show you what I fed the, the tang and what I, what I believe in is um, I just use some regular uh, Omega-1 pellets. They're kelp. They have spirulina in it. And uh, as you can see, there's garlic. Um, I usually keep garlic. I keep the Kent Marine garlic, but uh, I went to the store. I went to Walmart, picked up this minced garlic, and I just started soaking the food in the garlic juice. Um, I also used uh, frozen, and I would soak it in the garlic. But um, two things that I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to train the fish to eat uh, pellets, eat a variety of food, and I'm just trying to keep the sucker alive, fat, and eating. So it does show that uh, quarantine tanks are important. Like I said, I usually don't run them. Uh, I am sure glad that I had this 20 gallon long running um, and it came in handy. I think I'm gonna just keep it and let it serve as a frag tank slash quarantine tank. But the powder brown has been doing good. You know, I was a little worried because I didn't have a bunch of PVC for it to hide. But he found his own hiding spots. You know, he hid underneath his frag racks. And even the uh, other frag rack, which is a little closer to the glass, um, is doing good. He was a little shy at first. But now he is, uh, when I throw pellets in there or frozen food, he actually knows what time it is. It's time to eat. And that's great because... It's going to give him a better chance in the 180 uh, compared to the other fish. Um, he'll make the fourth tang in my fi fish tank. And um, 
maybe I'll get another one later on, but from now I, I am going to start uh, just quarantine, uh, play it safe. I know I took a lot of advice from you guys, and you guys are actually running them, but uh, I've been lucky up to now. You know, in the past I have had uh, Brooknella, and I've had Ick from introducing them to the new fish, um, but uh, this guy is doing really good. Another additive that I've been using is that stuff called Celcon. Uh, I soak the food in that and, um, you know, they, it just to give it the extra vitamins and boost up that immune system. You know, and now as you can see, this little guy is doesn't care. He's, he's going to have a good chance in the 180 because uh, he's pretty aggressive uh, as is in getting his fish food. Now, for the tank itself, the 20-gallon long, I'm still debating on drilling it um i almost bought another tank i got the go ahead from the wife and uh what i was looking at the innovator marine fusions lagoon 25 gallon and i still might get that later on but for right now i'm just going to go ahead and stick with this 20 gallon long i may possibly drill it and run a sump but uh i'm trying to just keep it as simple as possible just to show other reefers that you don't have to go all out you know you need a good uh hang on back filter a reactor and um, a good protein skimmer so I want you guys to stay tuned to uh, what I do and uh, what kind of skimmer I get but um, I I almost got that new tank well it's not really a new tank but it would have been a new tank to me the Lagoon 25 and I even talked about it and, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the 20 for now and just uh, do that um, but I just want to show you, I am mixing up the food. I'm using the Seaweed Extreme. I mixed it up real good. I've been using pellets. I've been feeding frozen. And I even put a uh, nori in there. I'm trying to get this guy to eat more nori. So that way, uh, you know, the nori, I think, is what keeps the tanks fat and healthy. Um, and also takes out that aggression when you feed often. But uh, the frag tank, guys... Glad I set it up. I'm glad I listened to you guys and set it up as a quarantine tank. Uh, I never usually do, but it just shows you that the uh, ick is completely gone. Well, visibly gone for my fish. I'm going to keep it in the 20 for a while. Maybe uh, finish up the week or a week and a half. And then go from there and go ahead and introduce them into the 180. Well, guys, thanks for watching. You guys take care and you guys have a good one.